Good morning, Brad. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in Celebrity News, y'all. Remember recently, y'all, there was reports that T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach, y'all, they were pitching themselves to other networks. You know, after that workplace affair at the ABC turned into an upside-down mess. Well, y'all, they're saying apparently nobody wants to touch them now. According to the New York Post, they're saying that major TV networks are steering clear of former GMA3 co-hosts T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach as the disgraced lovers desperately, y'all, Tim, to get back on the air, the Post has learned. Now, they're saying that CBS Media Ventures, the syndicate arm of CBS that um, resp- that's responsible for daytime broadcasts like Dr. Phil and the Drew Barrymore show. Recently, y'all turned down a talk show proposal from the duo, according to the sources. And they're saying CNN, which was pitched last month by Holmes and Robot Talent Agency, CAA, honey, also said no. They're saying, quote, if they did a talk show, what would they talk about? What's their expertise? Infidelity? They're saying, y'all. Oh, wow. uh, uh, yes, they're saying a TV expert said you know, opining, he said they'll take anything. He said they'll even host a damn game show at this point. Now, they're saying Holmes and Robach also have approached entertainment companies, including Fox Entertainment and Fox Television Stations for a syndicated show and met with executives for general meetings on various opportunities that were not necessarily limited to a dedicated talk show, a source said. And the people saying, Amy Robach, they say she must be really losing her mind to be uh, messing with a black unemployed man when she could just go out there and get her job. They say he must really did something to her that got her losing her mind, honey. But it's amazing that nobody want to hire these two professional people. I mean, they both professional yeah, they people. they think they I probably don't. come with a lot of baggage. And then, you know, if his behavior uh, has been allegedly inappropriate, uh, you know, in the workplace, nobody's going to touch him. Uh, but the best thing they should do is probably get a podcast and he go out or she go out and just do news and do reporting. Move to D.C., get an apartment, follow Joe Biden or any senator or congressman around and uh, and just do some news reporting. Somebody will pick you up if they see you working. Yeah. That's, for, that, that's for real. Because they recently ran a marathon. And I mean, interracial relationships, infidelities happen all the time on jobs. Black men always mess with European women on jobs and stuff on over their wives. So this is nothing new. Uh, No, they're not. No, yeah. I was just about to say that. Don't, don't just, no, don't paint us well, with that brush. Did you not remember the movie Jungle Fever? That was oh. a movie. Oh, okay, this is real life. Okay. And it happened. It, it, it don't happen like that often. Like uh, okay. Saying. Well, nevertheless, y'all, let's just keep our parties lifted up in prayer, honey. I, I still think about um, TJ's wife, Miss Mary Lee, honey, and that child. But nevertheless, it's neither here nor What about there. me going to, uh, at home struggling, no check coming Struggling, in. nothing coming home. I mean, Lord, I feel bad for her. And then went out there and gave itself to a white woman and cut the money off. Cut all the money. I'll put Miss Mary Lee, honey. I'm, God knows. I know she's an attorney, but I'm sure she's stressed out and frustrated right now every time she sees his face. But anyway, we're going to keep her lifted up in prayer. <laughs> Moving on, honey. In other celebrity news, y'all. Last year, y'all remember a woman claiming to be Kim Porter's niece, y'all, filed a wrongful termination lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, claiming that she was fired from her nanny position because she got pregnant before getting married. Well, now this is what Diddy is doing. A lot of people are very distraught and hurt with him. He wants her name to be made public. Now, they're saying y'all did rush back to court after his ex-nanny plead for her name to remain anonymous in their um, bitter court battle. Now, they're saying according to the court documents obtained by Radar Online, they're saying the music mogul has objected to his ex-employee's request to continue using Jane Roe, honey, as a pseudo in the case. Now, Diddy and Roe have been going back and forth, y'all, over her being allowed to remain anonymous for weeks. Now, recently, Ms. Roe asked the court, y'all, to deny this request, honey, that she's revealed her identity. She said that the mogul reason for wanting her name is to harass her and invite societal and professional harm to her and her family. And she also said she said it is desperate y'all to um, preserve the privacy she had left, honey, terrified of possible physical harm to her and her minor children and feel for y'all of further victim shaming, blaming and retaliation. Now they're saying Diddy has filed a document opposing Roe's motion. He said that Roe has filed, honey, or failed to provide evidence that the media will invade her privacy 
or that of her children. So, Ricky, so what y'all think about uh, Should her name be revealed? Because you um, got the gall to say that this man fired you because you was pregnant and, and you know, uh, the name is protected. But did say, no, I want her name out there. Do y'all think he want her name out there because he want people to attack her or he want her name out there because this is, you know, he feel this is right on his behalf? That's a good question to ask. Brad, Brad what are your thoughts on that? Um, I just feel like, uh, ugh. That's that, that's a hard one. <laughs> that's a because, hard one. I don't know. Because you, you know, uh when people accuse something and they always uh, uh, protect uh their identity or whatever, but the person that got accused, you know, they got to deal with all of the backlash that's or true. whatever. And, and 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 it just don't seem fair because just because somebody accused you of something, that don't mean that you did it. Right. You know, and then yeah. and then when it comes out that you did not do it. Then your name already dragged through the mud. Your name yeah. already dragged through the mud, and then where's uh, the the uh, repercussions, if that's the right word, if for the, the person, person lied on you? Absolutely. Yeah, that's my point. And my thing is, if she wins the case, is he gonna write the check to an anonymous person? He gonna put her whole name on the check if she wins the Hello. case? Yeah. So don't be trying to keep it a secret if you got these accusations. I mean, I don't blame. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. It just don't seem fair. It doesn't. Isn't that amazing? That's how society is, though. But that it happens all the time, though. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, it happens all the time. People accuse people all the time, and the, the people that's accused that don't get in trouble, you don't know their name. They remain Jane or John Doe. And walk around very rich off of your money, and you like, girl, honey, who you gave your money to? <laughs> Jane Doe. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. The Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite. My Kahlua today, y'all, is blooming. On the high end, you say blooming, and on the low end, you say beautiful blue. That's your Kahlua for today.